Singapore is set to have its largest district cooling system at an industrial development in Ang Mo Kio. SP Group and ST Microelectronics say the project at ST Micro's Techno Park in Ang Mo Kio will be operational in 2025, with the semiconductor manufacturer investing 370 million US dollars over 20 years. Now, it has the potential to reduce carbon emissions of up to 120,000 tonnes per year. This is equivalent to taking about 109,000 cars off the road. Overall, it's expected to achieve 20% savings in electricity consumption annually. Journalist Ang Ching explains how these district cooling systems help to reduce emission. District cooling refers to the centralisation of cooling with central chiller plants. So how traditional cooling works is that there are actually each building would have its own chiller plant. So district cooling is actually um, producing these cooling needs from a central chiller plant and that allows it to optimize the level for how much um, cooling is needed for these various buildings. So in turn, that will lead to um, lower costs from the lower energy required um, but because these chiller plants are not producing over capacity and therefore they produce uh, based on how much is demanded from these various buildings. And then, yep, that will lead to lower costs, lower carbon emissions, and um, energy savings as a whole. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to be notified of new videos.